G'day to you, Lisa. Not many people understand that simple pleasure of being scared into being in the middle of the night by the alarm, Lisa. Only the Today Show hosts, and of course there are one other mob, and that is Bakers. So we've taken pity on them this morning. We've come to Brasserie Bread. It's not the money minute, but we'll show you how to turn over a bit of dough today. But first, we'll have a look at the weather. G'day, everyone. This is what's happening for the first time on the Today Show around the country. Cairns, a few showers in 29. Mostly fine for Brisbane today. Just a brief shower about in 26. The Gold Coast, 26 and fine today. Sunny for Sydney, 23. Fine in Canberra after a little frost in the morning in 20. Cloudy periods for Melbourne and 21 degrees. Looking fine for Hobart, 20, 22 and sunny for Adelaide today. Wet and windy in Perth, 20 degrees. Alice Springs fine and sunny in 25 and some showers and afternoon storms for Darwin today. 32 degrees on the rainfall map this morning. Some isolated showers and thunderstorms through central and southern WA today. They're extending across the north of Northern, Northern Territory and the northern tropics of Queensland. Onshore winds bring some isolated showers also about much of the Queensland coast and just dipping in to the northern coast of New South Wales. For Brasserie Bread this morning, which is an artisan bakery, one of the best in the state, and they deliver right across New South Wales and into the ACT. And throughout the school holidays, they run a great program which teaches kids how to bake bread. So we're going to show you right throughout the morning. Good morning, Cam, and good morning, Lisa. That's a great idea, that kids baking bread. I like that a yeah. lot. Yeah, and didn't uh, Stevie describe the terror of that early morning alarm very well, too? Yeah, <laughs> and I don't think it's just Today Show folks no, no, and plenty, bakers. There's plenty of shift workers out there. <laughs> Lots of us around. Thanks a lot for that, Stevie. See you in half Good an morning, hour. everyone. We're in the master baking room this morning at Brasserie Bread and Bakers. One of the only other groups in the world, other than morning show hosts that wake up at ridiculous hours, but unlike TV hosts, they get to wear really cool hats. This is not one of them. All right, we're going to take a look at the weather this morning. Some heavy storms and showers expected through WA, particularly southwest of Perth today, with some strong winds about. Let's take a look state by state this morning, starting off in Queensland. Degrees. Well, as you're getting up at your home, just about to have your toast for breakfast, we're going to show you where it all comes from. We're in the master baking room here at Brasserie Bread. This is how it all starts out, where the flour and the water are mixed in together. And then you have the mother dough, which goes in on top of that. And the machine uh, basically whirls all that around, and that is the first process. We've got uh, Michael here showing how it's all done. They've got a fantastic school holiday program, weekend education class here for kids where they can learn how to make bread. It's fun, it's educational, and it teaches kids where bread comes from and how it ends up on their table for brekkie. And we'll go through the process right throughout this morning, and hopefully... Get some more hats going on, Cam and Lisa. Aren't you lucky you don't have to wear these? That one is very becoming. Very, very fetching, fetching, Stevie. Don't you worry <laughs> yeah. about that. Thanks Thank you. A lot. Very fetching. He's on bread Good on you, mate. Talk about this morning. I am indeed. Good morning to you. We are at Brasserie Bread. Now, once the bread has been all mixed up, it's moulded into these little loaf shapes. And then, just like Amber Higlet, you get the buns into the oven. And you can see these little slashes that they put in the bread. Now, that helps the bread rise, but there is a romantic story about that. In the old days, when there was only one oven in the village, different families would use the same oven. It was like a signature that went into the top of the bread. And we'll show you how they bake it right throughout the morning. But first, let's have a look at your weather today. Here Cans of Fusory Bread. It's an artisan bakery. They do it the same way that they've been making bread for thousands of years. And it goes into these industrial ovens, which kind of mimics the old wood fire oven. Spends about 45 minutes in there at around about 200 degrees. And out comes a beautiful, warm sourdough bread. Michael's going to break one of these open so you can have a look inside. Uh, now, the intense flavours of that are probably still a little bit strong, so that'll sit for another day and that'll be ready to eat tonight or tomorrow morning. And this has just won the award for the best organic sourdough in the country, and we'll be tasting that in the next half hour. Makes you hungry. Hope you're ready for breakfast. Cam and Lisa. Certainly does, Stevie. Yes, uh, sourdough, and my you know, favourite. Fine in the bread down there. What have you got now, Stevie? Yes, indeed, Cam. We've been checking out the bread making process at Brasserie Bread in Banks Meadow in Sydney. We're just taking a little time out to have a look at some of their other mouth-watering delicacies that they make here this morning in their cafe, which has won many awards, including Sydney's favourite cafe by the Sydney Morning Herald. And we'll 
show you more about the bread making process, but first we're going to take a look at the weather this morning. This is what's bread this place. morning, taking a look at some of the around 20 different styles of bread that they make here. There are no preservatives, it's all organic, and this is what they call the baker's round. This was the first loaf of bread that they produced around about 15 years ago, and they've just been awarded Australia's best organic sourdough bread for this little loaf right here at the Sydney Royal Easter Show, the agricultural section. So you've got to try that out. Sensational. And the best part about this whole place is that they do free workshops for kids so they can teach them all about how to make bread and what is a good bread. And that happens just over here. It looks like the kids are already... <laughs> Okay, it looks like we don't have the teachers in there to control them at this hour of the morning. <laughs> oh, you leave kids for two minutes and this is what happens. Anyway, it's all about having fun, but it's also educational. So the kids learn about where their breakfast comes from and how it gets on their table in the morning. <laughs> Oh, no, have a look at that. They're having a little bit of fun. Um, looks like red faces on Hey Hey, it's Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Stevie. Oh, <laughs> old new can of worms there. No, big no, 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 you didn't mean that. <laughs> and Stevie, the weird thing is we know that you packaged up a whole lot of this stuff and put it in a taxi this morning, but it still hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. But don't worry. Yeah, yeah, right. sure it it's, it's, it's in the mail, Lisa. It's oh, in the excellent. Mail. <laughs> on the way, along, along with the coffee and the pastries. Okay. All right, how you going? You having a good time there? <laughs> <laughs> Get him. No, not me. Yeah, get Stevie. Oh, black's a bad colour to wear today, I tell you. <laughs> Thanks, Stevie. See you in half an hour. still hasn't arrived. No, it's still rising, Lisa. We're still making it in here. This is a great thing about brasserie bread. Not only do they make about 12,000 loaves of bread each day, but they still have time to teach the kids how to do it. On the weekends, they have a one-hour course where the kids can learn all about bread making. And on the school holidays, it's a two-hour course, which is twice as good for the kids and four times as good for the parents. And we've got a few of the kids here this morning, including Emmanuel over here, young Eric. Yasmin and Layla, and these are the two terrors that started the food fight. This is Alex and Jovan. What are you making this morning? I'm making a face and a snake. You're making a snake, all right, cool. We'll keep at it, guys. A, a what? A moustache. Show us your moustache. Yeah, all right, stick it on your face. <laughs> all right, we'll get all this stuff into the oven, not you. But your moustache, but first we'll have a look at the weather this morning. This is what's going on around the country. If you're looking for something fun and educational for your kids, then this is the place to do it. Brasserie Bread. Now, they do school excursions here where the kids can go right through the factory and have a look at the bread making process like we've done today. And they finish off making their own bread. Now, the kids get in and they, they knead the dough and they mould their own shapes. This morning they're making little cinnamon scrolls and then they go into the oven. Why don't we throw them into the oven now? And the great thing about it is when they come out of the oven, the kids get to have a look at what they've made and then they can take them home and try out all their fresh produce. Is it fun? No! What did you say? No! What did you say? No! Is it fun? No! Is it fun? Yes! Yes! There we go! It's a fantastic place for kids to be. Nice work. Give me five. Oh, that was the sloppiest five I think I've ever had. <laughs> oh, man, I just said to him before, now you're the terror that started the food fight. He said, I'm not a terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a great thing for the kids to be doing. Thanks a lot for that, Stevie. Our See you in half an hour. This morning we've been taking a look at the baking process and also the great baking class that they have here for the kids where they learn the whole process of how to make bread and knead the dough. And they even have made their own little cinnamon scrolls this morning, which they get to take home and sample for the whole family. We're going to have a little try of those soon, kids, for brekkie. But first, we're going to have a look at the weather this morning. This is what's happening at your place today. And also Shouts. the northern coast of New South Wales. It's a big thanks to Brasserie Bread for having us this morning and to all of the kids who've been busy making their own little cinnamon scrolls this morning. And have a look at that. Mum and Dad, you can sit in the cafe, which has been awarded here, have a nice coffee, bit of breakfast, while the kids are entertained. And they also learn about good cooking. They actually send their bread out to about 300 different restaurants, cafes, delis, right across New South Wales and the ACT. So make sure you try it out. And kids, as a bit of a thank you today, I brought you all a flower. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's been getting away with that for years, yeah, being a big kid, but um, I reckon you never, ever turn your back on Stevie. <laughs>
<laughs> what was that, Stevie? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would be on. Four <laughs> five. <laughs> oh, uh, Sorry, mums and dads, wasn't my fault. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs>